exercises for this that's really good on the floor or maybe I can just give one for you especially if you struggle with hyperextension this is a really good topic because a lot of people are hyperextended or either bow-legged have these type of problems either way your main priority is keeping that stability here around your knee so you want this knee, the supporting leg, to be really stable. Now I'm not, I don't have hyperextended knees, but I am full well, again. So I had this, I had a hard time with this. I can give you an exercise for both this and my sister's hyperextended knees. So she's going to demonstrate her hyperextension. So I guess like from here. So it pulls backwards like that. Unlike mine, that's kind of just like, it does not pull backwards. It's it does, but it's not like hers that goes like an up. Mine's just more up like this. Yeah. So there are some exercises for this, and one that I really like for both, even for the hyperextended person and the person here, like me, is just squeezing, even just doing this. So, for example, in turn in, and you want to do this in turn in, not in turn out but trying to keep the knees like together because this works your turn out. So that's my exercise number one. This is just like bend and then you stretch and then you try to keep that alignment. The knees and like the middle of the knees to the, the middle or the second toe and really just aligning that and stretching. That's a really good exercise. You just bend and stretch and make sure you bend. You don't pop out. I'm showing it forward so that you can really see that my knees are coming right on top and then your challenge is to really squeeze now even in turn in that has to happen so that when you're in turn out it's a lot easier for you not to pull back also and you have to remember that feeling when you were squeezing yeah that pull up because i have a hard time keeping my knees together if i don't do this before i teach class like if i if i just go like this yeah, that's not going to work anything. You're trying to work this muscle here or around here. My next exercise that I love to give my sister is, it's just, actually it's just flexing and pointing like this. The funny thing is, when you do this exercise, a lot of people just kind of loosely do their flex and point without focusing on the knees, which is kind of funny. This is kind of like how you stand on the floor. So you actually really want to push out from the back of your legs and you want to pull up the knees and not lock it. Like big N-O on the lock, like no, <laughs> stop saying lock your knees. The only way you can really put stability there is really to pull up your knees and to push out from the back of your legs. So if you were to do that, like her, and she's going to do it, like how she would normally do it's like this you know just 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 lift it up like that now that's not locking the knee at all look she's just going up and down she can go up and down look there's no stability in that okay so a lot of people do this i want her to pull up here from the kneecap which she's going to do pull it up yep and push up do you see there's a difference she's going to be like shaking and then she's going to point her toes without releasing that leg and really out, yes, from the top of the foot, you see that? And then flex, nice. So she gains control, pulling up her knee without releasing that knee, you know, like it's not going up and down like this, lazily, you understand? So you want to really pull up, keep the knee there, then point your toes, long, 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 long. So if she would do that wrong, she can try it wrong, just flex and then point, 
Do you see that? The knee went like that. Now when you're up on your demi point or you know like you, you go and relevate, you don't move your knee around like that. You know, you want your knee to be really stable. You want it locked, especially when you're doing extensions where you need to articulate also going on to your point or you know like passing through. You want your leg to be really stable on the standing leg, not to wobble around. So you want that stability out. We just flex and points. A very simple exercise. Keep the squeeze also in between the thighs so you can work your turn out. Flex and point up. Really pass through the dummy point. And up, yes. And push. And point up. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Don't grip. Yep. And flex. And point. And then just touch your toes so you can relax. So I just give her this extra. But that's all. Those are my two favorite exercises for people who either struggle with hyperextension or even for people like us who are not as hyperextended. Look, my heels don't come off the floor unless they're in flex. But when they're in point, look, they're, they're hardly off the floor, but they want to be straight. My knees have a hard time sticking together. So my focus would be different because I'm. I have a different, you know, set of legs than my sister. I would have to focus more on squeezing because that's where I struggle. So I can engage my turnout because I can easily pull up my knees. So my issue is here on my squeezing area. So that's all. And I hope that this video will help you. Again, this is Teacher Lina. And I hope I can give you more tips like this. And this was... Not a request, but just an observation because I'm teaching a lot of skaters right now. A lot of skaters struggle with this. A lot of my student skaters struggle with this where in their knees start bending in and out, especially on ice. And you can't have that. You know, you need that st stable knee, like right on top of your boot especially. And I'm learning so much from my off ice, so I hope that you enjoy my journey. I'll be doing a progress video on this. Yeah, and then I'll see you till the next one. Bye, guys.